Now, magnets are everywhere. They're in computers, televisions, hi-fis, fans, washing machines, stereo equipment, tape players, absolutely everywhere, right down to the humble fridge magnet. And they vary in scale enormously, from the microscopic right up to the planetary. That's right, folks, we're sitting on the biggest magnet of all, the Earth itself. So what is a magnet? Well, a magnet is defined as any object that attracts iron and produces an external magnetic field. And as you probably learned at school, the regions at the end of a magnet, where the external magnetic fields are strongest, are called the poles. And every magnet has two, one north and one south. And the first law of magnetism is that opposite poles attract while the same poles repel. And because the Earth is one big magnet, if you suspend a simple bar magnet within the Earth's magnetic field, it will naturally orientate itself north to south. And this is exactly how a compass works. It's been discovered that homing pigeons have got a naturally occurring magnetic mineral in their beaks called magnetite. This makes them sensitive to the Earth's magnetic field and helps with their navigation. One of the surprising things about magnetism is its relationship to electricity. Did you know, for example, you can generate an electric current using a magnet? Now, underneath this tape is copper wire wrapped around this copper tube. And if I drop a magnet through the tube, it generates an electric current in the wire, which will light up these LEDs. This process is called electromagnetic induction. And perhaps one of the most surprising applications of electromagnetic induction can be found on the powerful brakes used on some fairground rides. The brake system of this awesome theme park ride is totally reliant on magnets. Come on, Rich, let's get it over with. All right, then. This ride is brilliant in its simplicity. The two-ton cars are winched to the top of the 60-metre tower by powerful electric motors. Right, come on, we can do it. And boy, is it a long way up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 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 Look at me, look at me. Ready? Two, two, one. Here we go. Like all magnets, the magnets in the drop car produce their own magnetic field. They're shown here in red. As the car falls at 22 metres per second, it passes these copper fins and the falling motion across these fins creates an electric current, which in turn creates its own magnetic field. Here we go. <laughs> However, this field is equal and opposite to the field created by the magnets in the drop car. The effect of these opposing magnetic fields is so powerful, it brings the car to a halt. It's called eddy current braking, and it's amazing. And the only thing that stops is <laughs> 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 